Sean, Sean please. please. Yeah, I, 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 I got nothing. I got nothing. The event is due to begin. Travelers, please. Tonight, the plans are prepped for out to begin. Please make your way to the prep room. Okay. Do you want to make a call so I can pick up your name? Yeah, that's fine. I'm good. Thank you, though. You said you need more time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't got uh, the time. I'm sorry. Something and breaking my breaking my oh knees. God. I'm nice. trying to fix oh, it, but it's a long, Yoshi? it's a long. Uh, I approve of it. Can you show me another trick? Man, man. Tax fraud. Tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no. if that's the job, nobody else is willing to take. Don't fuck around. Over. Do you need me for Sonic Three to come out? Sonic Three is gonna be good. You know, fucking Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh my God, yes. Shadow the Hedgehog. Edge Lord, I mean, we're gonna have like some like epic metal tracks by Crush. We have to. I hope Metal Sonic also gets Sonic 3. I don't know if Metal Sonic will. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be mostly the Shadow Gang kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Rogue's gonna make an appearance. If they make Rogue an appearance, it's gonna be terrifying. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah, on quest it's kind of limited. It's kind of limited on the quest. <laughs> and this is F and F versus yeah, Mecha. I should know. I'm the clear. Yeah, no Mecha. It's too small. Oh, oh, Capsule sphere. Just you're speaking to an F and F mod dev. Hello. My mod is currently in development hell. My mod is currently in development hell. This mod was, which is tall as everybody else. I only have the one. The default animation yeah. go poof unless you add them back in. It's a really good one. Okay. Uh, that's the monster. I think oh, this mod could be the monster. Another robot. That's robot. why I picked it. You, you are whoever to be the oldest. That's good. No, no, I know. Hey, what I'm saying is, this one's Gatorade flavors. You can tell. But then again, I didn't want you to use your essence. Look at the, look at the <laughs> it's a good that would be, that would be massive. That would be fucking massive. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think it's massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. We also got a ten. But it's also ten. You know who Nine. Nine. Uh, what was it? Eight. We have seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. One. <laughs> Alright, back to being cute. Travelers, it seems you've met with an uncertain fate. I said back to being cute. As you saying. find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR Travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and 100% wholesome team effort. Welcome to our point of contact to the narrative domain. <laughs> Tonight, we will be telling the story of the Prince. My friends, you are welcome to record tonight's event or stream, if you wish. Now, travelers, before I...
introduce you know who. I have one special announcement. Last week, VR Travelers held our third Smash Ultimate Tournament. And there was a clear winner. Yes, J Monkey, are you here? Well, yes, I am here. Kindly step forward, Jay Monkey. <laughs> My friends, yeah. Jay Monkey has defended his title for the third time in a row. Damn. Congratulations, Jay Monkey. You Fuck. are the Smash Champion. Yeah, damn. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Apparently. What's his character? We will stomp you one day. What's your main? What's your main? What's your main? You, you gotta be the throne. Damn it. Nice. Ah, oh, damn. Us. Now, travelers. You mean Spamus? <laughs> I mean King Daddle Dingo. Your silence, please. Oh, Apologies. Trust me. There will be plenty of time later to discuss. We I must move on with tonight's event, as the ether is thick in the air. Pointed at me. I'm pointing. Travelers, at me. tonight's story will be performed by the greatest tour guide in the history of the universe, the greatest voice actor to walk the halls of VRC. And the greatest friend to have in your story. My friends, it is my honor to, to introduce to you the one, the only, Trey Gem, the tour guide. Yay! Yay! The soup oh. man! The soup man has arrived! I put clappers on these. Captain Pinda. Oh, Pinda? Panda? Like those little thumb symbols. Oh, he's not corporeal. <laughs> See, we're keeping up with the vibe of multiple dimensions. <laughs> we have an iceberg for a reason. Good evening, wanderers of the narrative halls. <laughs> I said As super, here you are. <laughs> my name is Trajan, and I will be your storyteller tonight. This is a story-based tour. And as with any tour in the real world, we have rules. Our primary rule, I kindly ask that each time we stop for narration, that you all become silent so that the story may continue. However, as we walk from point to point, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves. I am going to drop a portal to tonight's event. Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal. Ooh. Friends and travelers, wait for me on the other side. Is that the signal? Mm -hmm. it? I did it's the signal. Who's floating. For those of you waiting for your friend to arrive, please still. Royalty. What? Wait. Is this what, what I think it is? It is. What do you think? What? 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 Ah, fake Filipino. No, this, mm. this. I think this might be the world that oh, we went to Panda? previously. I don't know though. It like, is. It just has the same. Oh, it is. There we go. <laughs> By the way, I'm also. <laughs> I'm also where the uh, technical. It says add right? favorites. I don't have this one favorited, so mm -hmm. this might just have nah, a same spawn area. Yeah. I'm but it's not the same way as before. Oh. Apparently, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. curious. I'm, I'm actually, actually standing in the corner of the world.
I've been actually speed uh, running right. to the town now. The My best friend is in the field. Do you reckon this is good? And there was like an abandoned town that was overgrown. Maybe. We've seen hopes. And well, but it's not a good thing. Oh, wait. I have some speed running to the field. I have some speed running to the field. Well, I'm sure it'll be a lot better with context. I'm leaving this conversation. <laughs> yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> yes. Uh, just, there, I still want to get to Mixellus. Never mind. Father, Mixellus! Mixellus! Yes! Well, I want to know that the Father and Pod exists somewhere. Yeah, I'm glad you made it. So, it's I want to get to Mixellus. That's probably the one that Mixellus is. Why is my cursor so tiny? So, he... And you what? You would have a funny friend about that. Oh my god. We are trying to like mute yeah. some like yeah. turn with his avatar down. Because that's so bad. Definitely. Yeah, because oh. I think uh... Oh. Oh. Something oh. we got to agree to do if they ever exist. Anyways, I want to... 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 So I guess if you... You know I'm in the middle of a way. So I kind of wish we could have been the patient by being the guard. I don't know where the word comes from. Um, wine sauce, and it was when we did a wrong sauce for, um, Mario, which is really good. Oh, pardon me. Okay, what? Dang, I got some force feedback through my own it now if you want to. There we go, that time it worked. Later. Okay, we're all fine. Got it. No shit. Your road. I think you go into it. If you press and open the quick menu, you see the little thing that looks like an icon. That looks like a little like waypoint location thing. You can click that, and you'll see whoever's in the room. And then you can click on them and change the volume settings and stuff. But evil. Or you know. Okay. Oh, you have to actually find your username and then do all the settings. Or clone avatar. Or, or clone avatar, or you can, you can hide people's avatars if they're too much for you or whatever. Lanes for a second. I mean, honestly, that design isn't too bad. Got it. Special because he came from the Hello, Shane. I wish we could also see that. I gotta figure it out. There's a bug. There's a known bug with this. Hello. Basically, you have a giant flat screen in front of you. Miles already explained it. You need to look down. Yes, I will come back to you. My apologies. Travelers in the back. Welcome to the adventure screen. Travelers in the back. Please move a little closer. It's called the VR Travelers. We're going to do an event. And someone's going to narrate a story. And we're going to follow it and do quests and stuff. Please move towards the I'm recording right now, too, for it. Uh, we don't crash at that one part again. This is um, you know, forest, probably over three hours long, so don't you're welcome, welcome, welcome to tag along shit. if you want, and you don't have to stay. Just tag along and watch it if you want. I don't care. <laughs> so. That's fine, my right. friends. Welcome to the narrative of the prince. Before we begin, aside from that one very important rule from earlier, there are some well um, unhide Trajim's uh, avatar. Please. Listen carefully. First, please take a moment to adjust your world volume so that you can hear distant waves. Ooh. All right, there we go. That's right. This is the world waving to us. The ocean. Or are we? Please make sure that the button to your left is orange. If it is green, yep. click Hello. it until it becomes orange. Mm -hmm. So is that the circle over there if orange? If you are experiencing or? lag, for this yep. event, you can afford to turn off all avatars except for mm -hmm. myself, Rindizu, and Sheen. I, I can't, I can't. Ah, Sheen at the back. Okay. 
Turn you're totally right. You should be able to. You click on Trajan, there's the, there's the tour guide, you can click on him and you should be able to show up. Make sure you're oh no, no, oh. there's a bug with this part of the world. Use the menu. The world, Use the menu or something. Yeah. 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 Um, Turn the graphics a menu. bit. Use the yeah, not, not so much bug. Locate, location ping, lo the location pin, and then locate. Oh, new robot. You got tons of these. Oh, mm. Dude, that's awesome. I love yeah. it. Blink. A couple of nights that's left, friend. A bit of my volume. If you are in desktop mode, press tab. If you are in VR, hold your right hand above the head and press the menu button. You will see this world's oh. custom menu appear in front oh. of you. You can see the fast travel option, mm -hmm. which you can use in conjunction with a tour guide's help to catch up to the group but if you need to. But shortly. You, you can bring Sheen or Rendizo to the back of the group if you need their help with anything tonight. I will announce whenever we reach any of these chapters That's in the story. Cool. That's so cool. That's cool. That's I love cool. it. And one last note for VR users. This tour has some strong color filters in some parts. Mm-hmm. Now, my friends, my travelers, let us, without further ado, begin. Begin our adventure. Please follow me. Oh, oh no, the void again. The void? The big ball? The big ball void. Oh, this reminds me of being in my pussy. This reminds me of being in my dad's testicle. What the fuck? God damn it. Damn, man. I'm drinking and I'm not even going to say that. We can't even quote that. Let's go. <laughs> My friend, Gosh, I can ask for your attention Hello. and Hello. kindly for your silence. Because the story begins. Can you hear it? The waves. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. The midwives, the guards, the servants, the cooks and stable hands, everyone in the castle, everybody in the kingdom, everybody heard the ocean. But that didn't make sense. is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. But I never heard the waves myself. At least, not until. Until. Dude, this is like Final Fantasy. Hey, your balls are showing. By the way, do not. This is cool. I like. I know. I've never been in something like this. What? Neither have I. Well, welcome to VR Travelers. Neat. Ooh. Ooh.
Hmm, pack lovers here. This is so three weeks forward. My foot has now been tethered to my PC. I gotta be careful now. Yeah. <laughs> Nice dissolve. Chapter one. Oh, okay. I in a castle tower, alone in a dark chamber. A young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid. His mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions. Memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm. Dark waters churning, roiling. Nightmares plague him, guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches. Blue faces strangled by seaweed. Bloated, half buried in grey sands. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination by the comfort of his own bedchamber. But their mission is short-lived. He sits up, looks left at the raindrops sliding down the glass then right, slowly surveying the dark corners of his chamber. There is a meal on the cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table. Then he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light, to make out its details. It is a pendant from the sacred land of Ludicia, given to him by his father, the late king. All he has is this pendant, his mother, and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart, his brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people all look up to him. His brother is the king they want. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power as his bed pleads for him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down into his refuge and... Hmm? Who would be knocking at his door at this time of night? Is it one of the guard making sure he hasn't fled? Is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head toward the door. You're still awake? The prince exhales and nods. His brother steps out of shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. <coughs> Aside from the rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems nervous and makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? 
Has Dacia finally reached the capital? Is his mother, the queen, sending him the boe? Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of the questions leave his lips. He just sits there, useless. Listen, his brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak. Take whatever you don't want to leave behind. Someone, someone is after us, and he turns suddenly to face the door. The prince holds his breath to listen. Hurry, the brother says in a harsh whisper. Now, the prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak, the dark blue one with the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice feels weak as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards, the aegis? What about... No, there's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with the first belt he can find, and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Lodician pendant into his pocket before the brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway beyond. My friends, let us follow the pair into the dark. Please follow me. All right. And can we take an F for Alizu, who got... I win. I win. I win the race. We'll get him back. Oh, by the way, this door has no collision, so I can do this. Oh, no. Oops. Gather around. Oh, well. Yes, it has collision. You too. Who? Or you can't walk back. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> evil. All right, I'm gonna walk through the door now. The story you can fall must out, so. continue. <laughs> Your attention, please. The prince and brother pass through an empty hall. The castle has been quiet thus far. But here, footsteps echo from some place ahead. Quick, behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. A moment later, a door swings open. The sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. The figure staggers past in a rush, glancing around only briefly and they exit the way the brothers came from. That was the Aegis. The prince's heart flutters. But something's wrong. She looked injured. And how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after his mentor. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand and uses a side door. My friends, this way. I've never noticed the sky. Really nice to get some confidence. Mm, this looks new. I think. Agreed. Mm -hmm. It looks the same to me. Hmm. so far, but this is awesome. I love this. All right, Nami. Oh my. This loves you. Bring in me. Why are we here? The prince.
friends asked. The brother hurries past the shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under the furniture. The prince gazes at a nearby open book, some old red tome. Who's after us? Mm -hmm. The brother stops. The oracle is dead. The inquisitor killed him. He looks the prince directly in the eyes, breathless, afraid. I saw it happen. stumbles back, catching himself on a desk. The Oracle, dead, and the Inquisitor is... A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. Dead, but... But the Oracle said that he is the chosen one. The Oracle said he's survived for a reason. The oracle said he would learn how to control it. If he went to Odyssea, found it. The brother steps back and dusts his hands. Help me move this. The two of them, carefully, quietly, drag a shelf away from the wall. Behind it, low to the ground, is an old door. A secret passage. This leads outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? 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 How can he be ready? No, no, this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream, a nightmare. The oracle can't be dead. He can't be. Any moment now, he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse, and his mother will be there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. Hey. The brother pulls him back. I know you're afraid. I am too. But without us, a Lazarus has no ruler after mother. We are going to escape. We are going to hide. We're going to get help. And then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all of this. All right? It's going to be okay. We will be okay. The prince can only bring himself to nod before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, watch your head. We must follow. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's new. Way back. All right, here we go. Now, what was that word? Oh, I don't know what that word was. So cool. Thank you for including me in this. Of course, I wish my mom had come. Yeah, well, I think yeah, parents are going to be here. Awesome too. Yeah, me, uh, my mom just wasn't yeah, coming up to it. She's been in VR for the past hour. but Makes sense, yeah. yeah. I was kind of worried I was going to yeah. meet your parents and I'm drinking. Mm. <laughs> Oops. Imagine <laughs> I try to. Uh, I try to avoid that. Yeah, but, no, I do. Uh, I would yeah. totally tell her all about this. Mm. She'd love this shit. She loves books and reading anyway. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway and find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince doesn't recognize it. Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room slowly checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding? A rumbling? The storm returns. Ooh. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die. <laughs> that joke's getting old. This guy gets An old. image rushes up from the depths. Rising to meet him. In a moonlight forest. 
a beast strides out of the undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent, a great silver elk. It lands, pauses, turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes as the young elk's shadow moves. It betrays the form. The forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options, four ways in which he can respond to this vision. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you all one minute to discuss what he should do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to give the best answer you have heard. Your time starts now. All right, now, I don't know about y'all, but I think I heard detach. <laughs> I heard detach. Divulge, detach. Yeah. This is, this is another game so, right here. We've, we've yeah, detach detach so there is a, there is a <laughs> fifth option. Oh, <gasps> that we have discovered okay, in the so. past. There's a six it option. There's a secret, yeah. uh, but there's yep. a secret <laughs> option <laughs> called yes. detach. Is it the right one out? if they call you up? Okay. Mm. I feel like that might be the wisest choice. And like, they'll ask you, are you detach yourself from yourself? Yes. Yes. All right. From the visions of like divulge what they divulge see. Divulge would be like telling your brother. Yeah, tell the brother. Uh, Descend yeah. would be to go further into the patch, vision. The patch, the patch. Like, see more of what there is. Yeah, that's what you yeah. think. But it's my, this is my first time, so I'm kind of just seeing what there is. You're doing good. That's you're what you said. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. Fine. Wow. We're letting, <laughs> uh, we're letting <laughs> you know. Descend, <laughs> divulge. What are the other ones? I see them. I see them. Detached with the There's, the there's a hidden one called Detach. Well, distract. And well. And distract. Mm -hmm. But there's also a secret yeah. fifth option be... that we discovered by doing this multiple times, and that would be detach. Mm. Yes. There's like you think distract you... would be like. Would you say detach was worth? Uh, would be worth it. Detach yes. is the canonically a yes. correct option. The other ones will give mm. you like more power okay. and stuff like that. But. Okay. Your time to discuss has come to an end. I am going to call upon the boundless wisdom and experience and insight of the one known as Nalu. What will the prince do, Nalu? Will detach. <laughs> did you say detach? I did. I know it's not one of the four options. You lying. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. It is called trick. Your wisdom is not boundless, but I will take you. Call the blinds. Because this is what happens when the prince detaches. I guess I'll learn. No I guess I'll never know. Oh well. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity he can see the truth. He remains in the moonlight forest. The shadow continues to shift sliding beneath the young elk. The great elk stamps its hoof unmoved. The shadow does not flinch. The elk stamps again and the shadow cowers. Then 
the shadow turns in the direction of the prince. And the prince looks back at the darkness, black as the moon's shadow. And in this vision the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back throughout the rest of the hidden passage. During this time, the prince is aware of the brother avoiding both some zealots and the silver aegis who is working with them. My friends. Please. Ooh. Follow me. I'm really curious what other choices are. <laughs> Nothing personal. No. Should I hop up on the I would have absolutely loved you if you said my friends and neighbors. This model is so tiny, I slipped right through the. So, <laughs> can anyone tell me what just you happened back there? I'm what did small. They say? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this. I just well, kept eating starts, back here. Uh, Hi! I fucking uh, ostracized myself. I didn't. We <laughs> hide together. <laughs> the small wings hide. <laughs> yes. I'm always red. This is how we die. <laughs> well, death oh, by Tesseract. Okay. My friends, <laughs> gather around and lend me your ears <laughs> and stay your tongues. For the story continues as follows. Chapter 2 A Final Secret Tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long-abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters, accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn. The moth-eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old dust-covered bed. He, he sits and sighs. He is tired and hungry, and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. His sidearm? Was that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about it, and the Aegis, the Oracle, the Inquisitor, but his mouth is dry and his jaw aches, and he, for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him. I think it's safe here. Are you all right? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says, have some. The prince looks at it. The leather carved with a royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he can't. You think I attacked the Aegis, the brother says. You think, perhaps, that I killed the Oracle. I didn't think you could hear that. Well, I did do one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to, but... You must understand that I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation, but I heard their conversation, what they said about you. The Oracle called you Oceanborn. And I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes. I saw the blood spill in. The Inquisitor, 
He wields the power of miracles of fire. Do you know this? He thinks you are sent by the enemy. He thinks the chosen one should be fireborn like he is. He... Well, I don't really understand it fully, but what I do know is... If I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the full wrath of the Inquisitor. Including Mother. This way, it's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand, don't you? The prince lifts his gaze to meet his brothers. Something about his voice, the way he's talking, he's never heard his brother sound so afraid. He can feel the Lodician pendant in his pocket. Look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon. If you still don't trust me, take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. <laughs> Come on, we need to keep moving. It won't be safe here for long. We need to get out of Moravos, and then... And then... Well, I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies. Someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand. And the prince takes it. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them find a way out this way. Foot of charge! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, mm -hmm. oh it's. Mm-hmm. Remember this? Oh, ooh. This part was really cool. This is a little mini game. I'll explain it. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Here's how we make him find an Exelix panda. Uh, these at some point, if you get some nausea, uh, you don't have to participate. And there's one, there's one later where you have to move a bit more. But... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, check to make sure that you're not next against, uh, up against a wall. I know that my tracker's going to do that. Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up, ignorant of what had transpired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second-story windows. Farmers set up stalls to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces, while innkeeps sweep the path night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. Quick, this way! The brother says suddenly, and he pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots, dressed in red, approach a pair of city watchmen. Oh, that's why it's called Mick Zealots. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the princes are to be brought before Ina Church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Treason? Truly? What do you speak of? The heir murdered the oracle and has taken his younger brother as an hostage. The Inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced stations on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he... Queen's orders. If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the Crown and of God. As you say, we shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are, the brother says. Don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up. And don't let anyone see your possessions. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are, and we'll definitely be recognized. We just need to... All right, I have an idea. I know someone who could help us, but we need to get across town. 
the brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to cross more of us. However, they are going to need your help. Ooh. Oh. Tonight's NPCs, that sounds like a terrible Alizu idea. and Ether, stand below me. They are playing oh city guards. <laughs> NPCs, please change into your avatars. If I were else, Ooh, make sure that you avatars. have their avatars shown and pay attention to these names. Give me go to the end Hey, Cloud Christ, is that you? Not a combat robot. Maintenance bot. Oh, I'm sorry, please. Please take your positions in the city, making sure you cannot hear me, as I must continue the rules. Friends, Stand this aside. quest requires that you are able to use your microphone. If you do not wish to speak, oh or if you think these NPCs know you too well, or you want to opt out of this quest for any other reason, please stand in this corner behind me, behind the crates. Everyone else, please take a minute to form pairs and stand in your pairs clearly. Just as a parent. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. I really uh, want to play. You know what? I hung out with you recently. I hung out with you recently. Uh, you two and me standing there. I'll find another. Get the way. Steve, do you know what happened? Why VR? No. 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 VR crashed. Uh, you and me. Wait, do it out of robots. It? Oh, it, it decided to relaunch uh, oh, Wii Fit. I'm sticking with Spooder Girl. Does anybody not have a pair? Please come and stand below me. It's like high school prom all over again. Okay, Jack, we gotta. Sitting on the pass roll. Are you both pairless? I have dice. No, it was. I'm right here. And, uh, who was it? Oh, you are paired. <laughs> is there anyone else who is paired? Please stand <laughs> below me. I got a 15. Wait a second. Who of you are paired? I only have a plus four. Oh, dear. Then it seems we're all paired. My friends, please. There are more rules to relay. This is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be somewhere in the city and we'll be questioning you as pairs, so please stay in your pairs together. If they address you, you must answer their questions. No other conversation is allowed between the travelers and the NPCs. And this is what you will all be doing. Wander the city of Moravos while staying together in pairs. You may talk among yourselves or with other travelers, when questioned, you must answer the NPC's questions truthfully, except the princes, who will lie. And the princes are a pair secretly chosen by me right now. Oh, shit. Okay, crackles, not us. <laughs> Lost <laughs> Traveler, who is your partner? Chris. Crazed McGee. Very well. You are tonight's princes. This means you must lie to the guards when they question you. Do you understand? I understand. I've been an actor for four years. I got this. <laughs> alright, okay. Uh, alright. You tell the truth, man. What's, what's a cover story? <laughs> well, we'll say we're too... You don't need to uh, act. We're, 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 we're telling the truth. No role-playing okay. is required. Okay. You will be answering questions about your real life. You may not oh, okay. give any indication whatsoever about who the princes are. That goes for all of you. Okay. You may attempt to physically hide from the NPCs, but this may come across as suspicious behavior. I will give you ten minutes to roam the city. No. At the end of this time, you'll all hear the town bell. At this point, please come and find me. The NPCs will then discuss privately which pair they think were playing as the princes and lying to them. Your goal is to keep the princes' identities secret. My friends, your time starts now. Those who are skipping this quest, please follow me. Pick a direction, let's get started.
Okay. There's a guard over there. There's a guard guarding the, the place where we thought the McDonald's is. Should we go there? Anyone? We don't know. And you already know the big <laughs> lion thing because you hit the prince the other week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who said I did it? Um, Hello, I'm audible. I actually have not heard you. Yeah, we literally just okay. need to hang it, just walk or hang around. It doesn't like matter. Room wait room. for someone to talk to us. <sighs> oh no, the way to McZealous is blocked by a guard. Oh. All right, hang out time. Skipping the quest, or do you have a partner? Your partner is down the hall. You're curious about the hall. I think it's a well. I'm not sure. I don't live here. Fun. Oh, this is a little cozy corner. Uh, oh, yeah, this is where all people that are not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. But yeah, this hole. Oh, God, please, mm -hmm. okay. Oh. Okay, so this is cool. I like this. Oh. Can I get up here? Yeah, I'm yeah. All right. Nope. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You can get over it, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't suggest oh, it. You'd have cool, to lose dude. I mean, yourself. This is, I really like this. <laughs> I'm just dude, doing I'm the same thing I always do. Ah, uh, yes, cool. all the secret little time goals. Oh, yeah. 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 All the secret little time goals. Anyway, we should get down before. Because <laughs> we haven't finished this yet.
If you wait, <laughs> we're doing a quest right now. If you wait down this alley, then the tour guide okay. will be here in just a moment. I'm just lagging a lot. You can say the PC location. No worries. If you stay around this area, the yeah. tour guide will return soon. I mean, yeah, I might crash soon. I will, yeah, maybe get back in like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I missed it. Uh, so I can say uh, I missed it, but okay. I'm just gonna stay here and wait, wait for, you know. Greetings, sir. <laughs> it's a favor. Enjoying the map. <laughs> Trying to wall climb a bit of parkour. Well. Do your best. Do you think they'll catch the princes today? Nope. Hmm. I didn't manage to catch them being questioned, but I guess you were sitting here, so it's anyone's guess. Uh, it's just statistically unlikely, because many people are already aware of the ways you can deceive the, uh, uh, the guards into thinking that they're suspicious instead of the actual people who are suspicious. What a bunch of liars we have trained up. Do you hear that, Sheen? We are responsible for this. Perhaps Naley was right. I see. I think it's time to ring small. the town bell.
Trey Jim, can you make it do the rude sandstorm? What? <laughs> 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 they look like they're black and white, but like, um, <laughs> tricky cat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Tricky cat. Tell me what's going on. Such a it's actually very hard to play rhythms with the bell because there is a delay every time I click it and it throws me. Can you see me? we're here. Calm down now. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You can blame Sheen for that one. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Rude Sandstorm. The national anthem of the Desert Kingdom of Vladivostok. NPCs, there you are. Have you discussed and come to a choice? Are you still discussing? We have not even started to discuss. Oh, please do so privately. If you're not in the car, you can go to somewhere else in the city. I think it's a failure in training. Friend's nickname. I was going to ask you about that. I I think no. you know what it's fine. It, this makes it easier yeah, for us. I don't recall you know? where you're afraid. Blue <laughs> how, how did your how did your <laughs> second go? Uh, maybe. Um, I think it went really well. I mean, they were like, "Oh, you're absolutely not the prince," you know. Oh, so that's lady a lady. Helen, you can see me, right? Uh, I think they're. Yeah, that's great. Right. Who was awesome. your partner? Better hope no, that they're far enough away that they can't hear you. Can you say your name? Yeah. Uh, N A E L U Nelu. They're still within earshot. They could be still listening to us. Let me just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anybody. It's no, your turn, Brad. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, Hold on. I see. Oh, me? Um, let me see. No, Rendizo, not you. Nope, pardon. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I could take Have you come to a decision? Uh, Rendizo, I have this. N-A-E-L-U. We have made our decision. Yeah. Very well. I don't see them in the room. Oh, yeah. Hmm? I know you're cool. Hey, Travelers, your attention. And oh. I see nice tea, but that's all. I, that's it. I don't, I don't see them. My friends, your quest has come to a close. It is time for the NPCs to present their accusation. NPCs, Ether and Alice. Who were the princess? Who was lying? <laughs> Did you say crazed McGee and lost traveler? Please step forward. Traveler, McGee. Are you in the pension? Did you hear that? The princess you have discovered. My friends, this has happened before, but it's very rare, and it changes the course of the story as follows. Yeah, the only one attention, please. The story must continue. As he walks across Marvos, the prince tries to shrink back into his cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do that? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past his brother and looks up. A city watchman glares down at them, his mouth twisting into a smile. The prince's blood runs cold as the guard and his brother stare one another down. His brother whispers. Run, 
and he kicks at the guard's knee, knocking him off his feet and into the river. Everything becomes a blur. The guard yells something, and the prince just follows the back of his brother's cloak. They run into an alley and skid around a corner. A dead end. Without hesitation, the brother tears off his own black cloak and tear tosses it over the wrought iron spikes at the top of a stone wall. He opens a nearby door, and the prince is pulled into the dark. His heart pounds hard and fast, trying to catch his breath. Then, from outside, footsteps come. The brother covers the prince's mouth with his hand, and they listen. This way. They went this way. The footsteps come closer and come to a stop right outside the door. Look, they went over this wall. Get round to the other side. And the footsteps leave again. But the brothers wait. And listen. Eventually, the brother opens the door, looks around, and breathes a sigh of relief, and they continue. The brother takes the prince to a nearby house, checks the street, and knocks on the door. Moments later, the door creaks ajar, and an elderly man peers out. He says but one word. You. And he glances beyond them, his expression grave. The prince shrinks back. How bold that you would show up at my doorstep. His mouth twists and he sniffs. I had a feeling you might appear. Then the wrinkles on his face deepen as he smiles. He opens the door wide and invites them inside. My friends, let us follow them this way. Interesting. Interesting. Got a rest here. But now the question is, do speed run run? <laughs> Do we get mm. access That's to right. chapter 5? That is the question. Yeah. Exactly. Probably not. We didn't see, friends. No, it's fine. What, it's an, what it's chapter are we on? See, we will see. We're on chapter Does three. it change some of the three? things making it? Or there's when a is this chapter way? 2 about to reach chapter oh. 3? Hello? Okay. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Dude. Dude. Mm -hmm. I feel. I should have been more. I should have been more dumber. Like more dumber. It's okay. Mm, you're fine. It'll work. It's okay. You guys were fine. Yeah, they, dude, they just ask good questions. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got a good question. Sit crooked it. on the walls, and cobwebs collect dust in the corners. But the home is sturdy, and the cold is kept at bay, and the prince feels a little more at ease. The old man wakes his way to a store with the help of his cane. The prince notices a glimmering sword displayed on the mantel above the fireplace. Come, the old man says, holding up a jug. You must be thirsty. The brother accepts a cup. This is wine, he says. Of course. <laughs> It'll ease your troubles. Go on. The brother takes a sip, as does the prince. It tastes... bad. It bites at the tongue. But there's a hint of fruit. The old man drinks straight from the jug. So, he says, I suppose you're here to tell me the full story. You've heard from the zealots, then? Asks the brother. You think a retired veteran like me gets all his information from a single source? 
I've heard them say that you murdered the Oracle and fought your way out of the castle. They say you even attacked the Silver Aegis. But that's not all true, is it? Actually, the brother looks down into his wine. The Oracle is dead. But it wasn't me or my brother. And I did attack the Aegis. The veteran has another swig of wine, swills it, and regards the brother with a long look. Mm hmm. Well, you know what's going to happen next, don't you? Once word gets out that both royal heirs are missing, traitors or no, Dacia is going to advance again. They're cunning. They'll take advantage of this predicament, just like they did at Lakeport, where this all started. I'll wager it won't be long till they take Felden. The place has been a pit since the Baron was killed, what, a decade ago? And I hear they've already started infiltrating those old walls. Sorry. Daisha. Oh, yeah, okay. Lord. Thank you. The brother's knuckles go white. But we can't go back to the castle. The Inquisitor is too powerful. He's gone mad. So you want me to face him? <laughs> Young sire, I may have been the best swordsman in Lazarus in my day, but with all due respect, that is madness. You haven't read the Crimson Vanguard? That man is capable of terrifying things. Then the brother glances at the prince for a moment. What do we do? Who can help us? Who else is there? The smile gently leaves the veteran's face. Best I can do, young science, is get you out of the walls. He gets up using his cane, making his way back across the dusty stone floor. Back during your grandfather's reign, we had tunnels built beneath Moravos. Most were narrow and used for emergencies, but some were large enough that there were houses built down there, cut into the stone. Given that you're here, it seems you used one to escape. But there are many more. I'm likely the last one alive who knows where every entrance can be found, and, of course... What sort of tactician would I be without my own personal escape? Help me move this, would you? The brothers assist, and behind a wooden cabinet is an old door. This leads to the underworks, the veteran says. There may be others down there looking for you, but it's dark. You should be able to just leave. Cross the cistern, and you'll come out near the eastern road. My thanks. The brother opens the door and guides the prince in before him. And I'm sorry. Sorry? Nonsense. It'll take much more than a strike from you to slow her down. I don't mean for her. The brother grabs the cane from the veteran and strikes across his legs with it. The old man cries out and topples backward, and the brother pulls the cabinet back in place behind him. My friends, this way. Hello. There we go. Oh, okay. Because of, of the good story. Yes. <laughs> I know. Oh, right. Not we don't go for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just everybody's at the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how, how many popcorns? Well, that's because oh, we're fuck. used to <laughs> being able to see yeah, the past all this. Y'all did fine. Everybody yeah. gang up on the box. I thought it was a cube, not a box. It works. I did too. <laughs> Whoa. Now we know. I'm a big bud. Right now? 
The air What? down here is musty, stifling. Somewhere in the distance, water trickles and dribbles. Rodents dance along the remnants of what looks to be underground buildings. What is this place? Why is there a city beneath the city? Faint patches of light leaking through from somewhere above reveal the path ahead. I am sorry you had to see that, the brother says. The prince cannot make out his face in the low light. The Inquisitor has to think that we forced our way in. I just... But the brother doesn't finish. Instead, he simply begins to walk. My friends, please follow me. <laughs> no, we're here. Ah, not this again. Alright. Are you ever play Minecraft? Let's go. Oh, there was a shortcut. Oh, I can see where it is. It's failed already. Right. Click the door and wait for me on the other side, friends. Oh. Dang it. I haven't been here before. Soup time. No, not soup time yet. Almost soup time, but not yet soup time. Right. Oh, dear. Dear me, crash. Not yet, soup time. What the heck is happening? Why am I dancing? Because why not? I'm not waiting until the end of the break. Because the music. Yes, we have. I don't remember the piano. How many groups? Oh, was it? I don't remember. Yes, I don't want to crash again. I do. One. Why do you remember this? Oh, my memory is supposed to be crap. Oh, I remember this because we went through this world before. Sorry! You... <laughs> sorry! I haven't... This like, is our first this time is, here. Honestly, no, this is our first time with the guided tour. Like, we went like, through this without the tour before. Shit, but I can't see what oh, so... <laughs> there's a whole lot of new context. This is kind of thought. Yeah. That was the oh, vision that's... where... Always need to have context. You realize that you could Isn't divide. that right, Trajan? Does that mean we can't oh, divide the end now? Don't tell me that. <sighs> It's really fun. Oh, <laughs> Slap my shiny metal ass very good. Break this time or we don't. I'm a bicycle. If we go to the. I didn't realize how long this is gonna be. Oh, I knew this was gonna be an hour or two. It's gonna be over three hours. I think we're at like an hour and a half now. Uh, it's gonna be about three hours, uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. That's why they said my bring friends. hydration. Oh, sure. Your attention, please. Fear not, for we have just reached chapter three. No. We are over halfway through, and I the story that. continues. Crash. It is after sundown by the time the brothers emerge. The underworks tunnel had led them to an old mill, and from there they followed trails until coming upon the eastern road. <laughs> Maravost looms in the distance, gently glowing in the moonlight as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache, his stomach growls, he's tired and sore and short on breath. His brother is just standing there, shaking through a bag he's carrying. How does he do it? How does he keep going? Can't we go back? Prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that aloud. Go back. The brother lifts his head. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you, and then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the Oracle chose him, and nobody can disagree. The Varna Church would change forever. Mother would be powerless to stop him, and then... And Daesh will invade, and the people will have to live under the rule of one of two monsters. We're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, I'm going to stop the Dacians. 
We'll go to Felden, and we'll warn them. We'll help defend the town. I'll kill every day, if I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake fort. Do you hear me? We still... Stop it! Please stop. You're scaring me. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... It's just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us. It's just us. Listen. His brother squats before him. I'm scaring you. I can see that. I don't like to see you so afraid. But I'm doing what must be done. I'm... Do you remember when we were little and we found that nest in the old tower? We spotted the mother of Blue Wing coming back to feed her chicks that evening. We even named them as well. Dusty, Scylla, and... Pickle. Pickle, yes. Little Pickle. the nest. The mother bird fought so fiercely, but you asked me why that happened. Do you remember what I said? Vana is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If the birds are not in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety, and the cat can't reach her. But this cat is sly. It's going to try to trick other animals into helping it, so the little birds might have to do some things that seem bad, just so they don't get eaten. They have to, well, learn to fly, perhaps, or find another cat who will help them. The prince nods slowly. He can see how hard it is for his brother. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing. He has to. They need to survive. He wants to reach out for his brother. He wants to hug him. But he cannot bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's world brother says, standing. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felton. Do you still have my... The brother stops and looks down. The prince is hugging him tightly. Hey, it's all right. Look, when this is over, we will sail to Laodicea. The sacred lands. We all go together. Just you and me. Would you like that? The prince wipes his face. Ludicia? Really? Do you swear? The brother smiles and the world gets a little bit brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's world in the dark of night, and they are going to need your help. Please, follow me. But I hope I don't crash this time. I hope I don't crash this time. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, it's not Lost Woods. It's Ladusi. Who the fuck just said Ladusi? I got my consumer this. Don't get that stuck in my head again.
Oh, this is another mini game. You have to move around a lot. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. Okay. I've been sitting down for a couple minutes now, so. I, uh, I don't know if you want to sit this one out. You do have to move around a lot. I, concerned. Attention, please. I think it might be for the best. My friends, I ask for your silence. Because I have another quest for you all. Pardon you. NPCs, Alazu and Ether, please come forward. Please change into your avatars now. Everyone else, make sure you still have the avatars of Ether Memento and Alazu still shown. Wait, who now? Them to show Ether it. and. There's Alazu. Where is Alazu? I don't oh, see an Alazu. To my oh, left and right, yeah, Ether and right Alazu. Here. Make sure you still have their avatars shown. The Good. Shadow Man and the a Ferryman. Man. Got it. Mysterious oh, Mr. Enter Jesus Christ. and the Reaper. The Ferryman looks terrifying. Now, everyone else, please remain man. here. The NPCs must go and prepare. I repeat, everyone remain here. NPCs go through and prepare. Ooh. There we go. I also hope you don't crash so that you can actually Now, see. my friends, the Duke's world at night is not a safe haven, but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest are as follows. Navigate your way through the Duke's world, which, according to legend, is haunted. Collect as many resources as you can, each of you has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find in the maze. You must avoid the Duke's Wield Phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several seconds, costing you valuable time. The Phantom can teleport to any Phantom Fire at any point in time, so stay alert. You are being observed. Please avoid using avatars that are very small, very large, or invisible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either make your way to the end where I will be waiting for you, or stay behind to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Please do not use teleportation shortcuts to get past this maze. After your five minute timer expires, all remaining resources will disappear and you will be escorted to the end. Give me one moment to make sure that the NPCs are both ready. All right. All right. Do you want to skip out? My 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 Google rule. No, I'm gonna try. Wield, more like okay. Wield. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm useless as desktop. I can only carry one item. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, you two be collectors. You'll not be able to dissipate after you carry any items. You just gotta okay. click it. Oh, Desktop right. has my, been I've got my hat ready. I'm ready. I wish Oop. I could bend over. Oh, You'll okay. be the distraction. <laughs> I can't. I'll be yeah, I'll I'll the distraction. Can't bend I'm over. very good at distraction. <laughs> Friends and travelers. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. I'll just try to distract them. You all <laughs> right. You said friends and travels, dude. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Your time starts now. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Where do we go? Wood. Oh I don't know. Wood here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Dude, we're just fucking true. running for our life like that. Oh, shit, there's a green flame. I don't know what this is. You, are they hunting, hunting you? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Bundles of wood and... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. God. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, that scared the shit out of me. Screw you. You come for. Screw you! No! They refuse!
where Ether has it out for me. <gasps> No, screw Comes for the oh, man. Surprise. Oh, no. Very hard for me. Okay. <laughs> Got wood. Good to know. And yeah, we'll be escorted to it with arrows later. I always have so much trouble seeing the berries. I probably have walked past the ten of them by now. Mm. Run for it! No! I can't. Can't run! I can't run! No! <laughs> 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 It's where they can teleport, so don't stay near it. Oh, the, the scary boy, the scary boy. Yeah. Uh, the e girl, the e boy took for some reason. Anyone find any wood? I need two more. I'm not finding anything. Where is I've been it? spooked. I shall distract the well, well done, Shane. <laughs> okay. The uh, uh, log? If I remember the location, that is. I, I'm missing a berry. Oh, I see. Couldn't we all just use a little wood in our lives? Yeah, the uh, berry. I am one log away. <laughs> yeah, saying that one log is really gonna get people, isn't it? We have to find our way out. I mean, like the locations are shared. Um, yeah, we gotta find our way out. Follow me. I didn't know the way okay. approximately. Ah. Oh, fuck! Dang it. <laughs> Oh. Well done, travelers. There we go. Oh, I got five! I got them all! I got them all! I got them all! I got them all!
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a scent on the cool wind. But the hunters are also hunted. Something else stirs the grass, and though it evades the eyes, his presence can be felt. A sense of something imminently wrong. A feeling that things are not how they should be. In pursuit, as a shadow. My friends, we have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you all one minute to discuss what he should do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to give the best answer you have had. Your time starts now. Detach. I heard detach. Okay, so is there also a secret option five? Yeah, detach. Yeah, detach. Yeah, detach. Yeah, detach. Yeah, detach. Secret option five is detach. <laughs> that touch. I heard detach. Tesseract lies once again. We have five yeah, I heard detach too. <laughs> discussion time. Yeah. So um, <laughs> it's contrary to belief, this is not a USA Why can't it be pizza time? Hello, someone had figured out that you can Yeah, have we done the other ones? Detached, diverge, decapitate? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we fucked up earlier because they caught up in the town area. That's maybe an option. So we didn't, we didn't get that. It's a time for discussion. Are you sure? I, my favorite option is Joe. My friends. No problem. It is time for me to call upon. Where did no one go? Dare I say it? The boundless wisdom and insight provided tonight by none other than Wabberjack Blam. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit! <gasps> oh, my goodness. You're the chosen one. What is your choice? My choice is detach. Don't screw it up. Huh? Detach. <laughs> blow it. Is that so? An interesting yes. choice. You have sealed their fates. Listen Thank carefully. You, so much, sir. you fucked us, Jack, for the last time. I thought I, was, I, thought, I thought I was supposed to do that. We're all fucked. Always welcome. Well, you were supposed, you were supposed to do that. Just listen. <laughs> listen and observe. The, the prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he sees the truth. The shadow closes in on the Dacians. They don't seem aware of it at all, and draws closer and closer, ever silent, ever dark, until it reaches them. And it becomes one of them. The shadow has joined the soldiers, and they are oblivious. The shadow draws its sword, and instinctually the prince grabs the grip of his own sword, readying himself. But the shadow does not strike the Dacians. It does not strike. They continue their march with the intruder among them, and before long, they are over the next hill, leaving the prince alone. That's the foreshadowing, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, 
of it in the previous one. I hate it. Well, I mean, it, it foreshadows what's, what happens <clears throat> between chapter 4 and 5. <laughs> which, I didn't really make the connection. Anyway. Mm. Neat. Wake up. Come on, wake up. The prince is shaken awake. The sky is a soft blue-gray and the blue is transfusing, looking off that. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. Across the river, I told you from that. down at the prince and his expression softens. Let's get a closer look. We need to know what they're up to. They gather their things, scoop dirt over charcoal and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearing. My friends, Dacian are dangerously close. This way. Okay, it looks like we might still be able to get to chapter 5. Okay. Hooray! We didn't crash! <laughs> yeah, Jack, you can cock this up for all of us. <laughs> oh, perfect! I know what I'm doing. Please <laughs> 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 don't. There's a lot of noise <laughs> coming in your avatar for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. You need to block and unblock him because I have happened twice to me already. I can't. Go to the I menu. Go, in. Go, to the go to the menu. Go to in the room. Yeah, Find him in there. Block him. Unblock him. Then I should stop for a little bit. Or how the Probably best if you don't. Oh, okay. Find Brindizo or Sheen and, and then tell them they're having somebody join. A bit of story. Uh, not really much. Travelers. No, I'll take a leave of the Sheen's there, by the way. I think I'll just hold off and wait to join them later. There. The brothers hide in the undergrowth. The outer walls of Felden loom over trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There's a gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small How's gate, bringing supplies inside. So Felden has already been taken by Dacia. Maybe they were already here and didn't need any distractions. There are too many of them, the brother whispers. But maybe I can... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself up just a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. Is he going to run in and fight them? How can they not see him? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I, I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them left after the rest went inside with a handcart. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand. And he waits. And waits. Without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry, yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving back between trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase. Two remain, and they seem hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction the others went. Wait. His brother's sword. He might need it. But it's too late. He unsheathes it, 
just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Hmm? Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are coming his way. He freezes, holds his breath. Blood begins to drain pain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. Lose interest. Turn around. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Wait. Hey. There's someone in the trees. The prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He hear Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away. Stop following me. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Are they getting closer or further away? He can hear their boots pounding the ground, their swords slashing through low-hanging branches. He can hear their heavy breaths. He can feel it on the back of his neck. No, 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 leave me alone. He keeps running and running, and he slips on the muddy ground, and then... The ground vanishes, and the forest rises up, careening overhead as he topples into ice cold waters. My friends, please follow me. Was that new? No. No, I wasn't. Because you were, you crashed last time, remember? Oh yeah, I can't remember if I missed that or not. So, <laughs> Mom of Truth is coming out. Good thing none of us crashed this time. Uh, we're in the yeah. end game now. Indeed, the appears the crash got fixed. Yep. yep. We, uh, we know it. I'm looking for. Uh, Ooh, what do we know? Yeah, because. Nothing that you need to know. The end game. My friends, <laughs> at this point in the story, it. we have a designated break. Have a snack, Just rehydrate, use the restrooms if you need to. Oh, Please right. be back here break. for the story to continue within oh, four so minutes. Ready? I repeat, nice. I already did my back here for the story to continue within four Give minutes. Give me a snack right there, I think. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Watch that. Oh. I guess that, I guess that means that we can... I wiggle off into a corner. Hello, Go ahead. Yeah, this is what we're trying to do. Geo. Good to see oh, you. Panda. Hello. It is good to be here. It's a designated break time. Can you feel it, Geo? The ether in the air. Yes. Okay, Shreen. Oh, don't, don't worry. I'm, Something don't worry. is going to happen. I'll, I'll, I know it. I see. I mean, I, I hope. It is, like, yesterday was a birthday. I, better, I hope something happens. Faster, 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 faster. Don't worry. Okay, today's part. Did you say yesterday was your birthday? Yep. Well, Gio. Happy day of birth to you. Why thank you, Sheen? And happy birthday to VR Travelers, because I know that was this month. That is correct. The handbook told you this is another year older, too. I'm for when. Hey, Sheen. The sacred text. I have a friend who just joined the world. Okay, Is there a way we can... Sorry, friend. Please repeat. Yeah, who? I, I have a friend who just joined the world. Is there a way we can get her to come over here to us? Sure. I'll go get them now. It's I am no one. That's my friend. Soup. Fish stew. I got chips. Mm, chip. I've got chocolate bunny. Mm. Chip. What's that? Faster? Okay. Soup, 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 soup. I'll have this fixed next door. Soup, 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 so
Yeah, I have my chocolate bunny. I got my oh, chocolate bunny. Oh, I got some chocolate bunny. I'm just realizing how nice your pants are. Nice. Somebody, whoa, that's the next level. Somebody made an animatronic yeah, of one of the twins from the comic like cart. Yeah, Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I, I'm in their Discord yeah, now. He's kind of browsing just, through the art channel every once in a while. And they made like a yeah, full on 3D printed animatronic. The uh, face re the face recognition and animations need some work. It's kind of <laughs> laggy, but it it that moves. That's rad. That's crazy. I saw that. I've sent the picture of the rice ball. Who wants some fish soup? Sweet. Oh, that's your face. Still disappears. Like some fish soup. I not another donut. Shut up. Yeah, only gear. Only gear. Sorry, I said rice ball because I'm not sure if people um fish soup. Yeah. I need to make onigiri again. It's been too long. Hello. Hello. I've never had it. Yeah, it's good. easy to make. Why not just say rice ball? Good. But, but jelly donut. Because onigiri is a cool name. Onigiri lets people know that you'll come. We're halfway through. Would you like some fish soup? I thought I fixed that. Fucking nerd. Okay, are you having fun? Yeah. I know I'm just I'm recording it. So. Yeah, that's kind of great. Welcome to the tour. There's a lot of people. <laughs> there's, wow. there's sometimes there's a lot more people actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, all the hands. Is it just me or does the mic quality go down? So, who's? So he's basically telling the story. Oh, we got back 25 people in here. Yes. Here we go. So what is happening? He's telling the story, and we follow the story. Okay. Okay. Do that. Chapter four. The prince comes to. Something is pulling on his leg. He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it, and. Not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. The prince takes in his surroundings. He's inside a town, right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up at the town structures and... Wait, the sword... Oh, it's still there. The gyps. Family in its sheath. He makes sure it's out of sight and gets to his feet, heading into the town of Felden. My friends, this way. Well, let's go. I managed to be standing on the thing and just looked into the room before. <laughs> Tricky. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. He'll come around eventually. I, thank you. Why do you look down on me? I forgot. I'll try to stay closer because you you're There's only on one controller, right? I know. I'm only on one controller. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. And I've been drinking, babe. Been drinking? Okay. drinking? Okay. Do you have, do you have photos? Do I, do okay. you have photos yeah. on your computer? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Mm. Thank you for understanding. The story continues. I like you. I like you too. 
The prince hears a commotion ahead. Yeah. There's a line of people with wooden balls outside a door. He can see Dacian soldiers inside, giving out the same amount of food to mm -hmm. each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Uh, please, kind sirs, if I may, I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his, his name is Riot, you see. He's going hungry. He's all skin and bones. Please, sirs. Hey, that's not fair, says a townsman right behind her. Why does she get more? Peace, peace, orders the soldier. He regards the elderly woman carefully. Hmm. Fine, have extra, but just this once. Oh, bless you. Vana, bless you. And here, the soldier adds, offering a wooden stick. Seems like you're having trouble walking. Use this. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself, quietly. They didn't do anything wrong. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and goes to move around them. But they block his exit. He peers up at them. Those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealots. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help. There are so many people about, and the Dacians might help the zealots. A fight might break out. Innocent people will get hurt. No, there's too much risk. Come now, lad. No more running. My friends, the prince has no choice. This way. He has a fucking sword. Wee. Anyway, do you, you will. I was asking if you have Photoshop because I was going to give you the files for the handbook profile. Um, hi, Salon, by the way. Hi. Mm. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah. There they go. Yep. Yep. I heard we got He's already caught had a sword. Earlier. But yeah, I was going to no, give it to you I, so that I, in case some I mostly use Krita though. I heard we got caught earlier. That's true. What? Did, did get caught? Mm. I mostly use Krita. I'm just talking. Mm. Well, we should we probably, uh, you, know, you want to help me go through the world and get pictures of the prince for the handbook, by the way? At some point? Because we need those. Perhaps. Not sure. Click the ball. Not today, but... We have that new group chat that we can just use. So I would like to see the good ending. I don't think we'll get it, but so it's not going to be the part. Make it, make it part of the air travel. We're We've try. almost gotten there last time, so hopefully we're able to I figure out can, the final I step. Just the version with you in it yet. Well, we were close to the good ending last time. There, like <laughs> super close, I think. We are in there. <laughs> You're on the first to like all right, all right. The first page. It's funny to it's funny to According to Captain Panda, we'll never My friends, <laughs> travelers. Your attention, please. Come closer so you can hear me. The zealots lead the prince down some old rock hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. Carved niches hold sickly green candles. Many figures in red stand near the corners, watching silently. Fireborn, says one of the zealots. We have the prince. A shadow slowly turns. A titan of a man with a broad chest and square shoulders draped in dark crimson robes. 
His face is like a statue, chiseled and weathered, bearing a fearsome grin. Ah, oh, the young prince, how I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? We found him alone, Fireborn. Within the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir, but he hasn't been seen since. Uh, it matters not. It is you I want, Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing, else why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches the shadow of his shadow, creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn, wielder of the infernal miracles, and you, you and I, share a goal. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No. The death I seek is that of Daisha. And you do, too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Daisha. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why, evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lake Fort and started the war, didn't they? Didn't they? Ah, you see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its moor. You destroyed Lakefort. The war started because of you. Don't you see? You and I are both so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that have you have no idea how to harness it. That is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it has been revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varna has a place just for you. A Lazarus has a place for you. I have a gift. A gift, sire, a crown. Your crown. Not the crown of a king, but that of a mighty wielder of miracles. Accept this gift, sire. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circle it offered him. Two parallel bands with a dull shine, otherwise featureless. Lakeford, his brother. Deja. The prince watches as the circle it glows with a lower. The war with Deja is his fault. The Inquisitor is right. The prince accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up, places it upon his head. The Inquisitor smiles, and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again, but this vision isn't like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real, the storm is here. It is hellfire. Flames roar out when filling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, 
Then blinding, searing, the prince screams, the fire roars back, and then... Darkness returns, and in the darkness, embers glow. Cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The prince gets up and looks for the inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? But rising up with him is a great shadow. Though the zealots have been reduced to mere embers, another stands, towering, indomitable, fire-born. And the Inquisitor speaks, <clears throat> and cinders fall from his mouth. My prince, come, we have much work to do. This is getting... Hello, Albus. Alright, I have to pee. Eek. Yeah, that's... You're supposed to do Should've gone during the break. <clears throat> you know what? It's okay, I've already seen this part. Can hold it. I believe in you. Yeah. I feel He's like I'm listening to a story from spooky well, stories that, that I listened to on YouTube. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I listen to those every night and every day oh, at work. No? <laughs> it's just the same for me. My friends, I kindly ask for your silence, for the story must continue. The Prince and the Inquisitor stand on an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. Oh, fuck. The sky is clear. All is quiet. <sighs> Do you know why I brought you here? The Inquisitor sounds distracted distant. The prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. He's losing track of reason, of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead, but he's not sure. There was fire, lots of fire, and his mind aches. Something blocked his attempts at remembering. Something else is in there in his mind. The Dustborn was right. You are the Chosen One, granted influence upon this world like no other, chosen by an enemy of the Church, an enemy of God, the very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. Felden has become infested with Dacians. But even before then, Felden deserved this judgment. 
The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Bow swift, hull bound, Oradea, Medias, Felden, may the heavens come down upon them, and may they be reduced to ashes. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. From up high, a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Riven, rivers are ribbons of silver, mountains are mounds of soil and stones, towns and cities mere smudges of beige and grey, and the sea is a distant shimmer. Entire realms can fit within his grasp. He reaches out and begins to close his hand over <clears throat> the kingdom. A face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed. Peaceful. Beautiful. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends, you must make a choice. The prince has the following options. Destroy. Destroy, destroy, destroy. You have one minute to discuss. Uh, I heard defy. defy. I heard defy. 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 Don't give it to me. I heard defy. Defy. The destructive tendencies. Defy. Oh, great. Defy the lying cube. I know it's not one of the four options, you lying goddamn cube. Defy. The only answer is to stop. Defy. Brightest part of the fire. There is nothing ventured, nothing gained. Because the eye stares back. That's such a question. Has only one chance to be observed. Oh god. Oh god, I, I wish I was going to be on the I'm recording. Thank you. Your time of judgment is here. Zendrick. <gasps> what you know. is the prince doing? You know, sometimes we all have urges. Where we just want to see the world burn. But in this case, I choose to defy those urges. I choose to defy. God, you scared me for a second. Good. Good. You fucking terrified me. Dick waffle. Very well, <laughs> Zendrick. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie. Chapter 5. We have an imposter. 
<gasps> no. The prince shakes his head. No. He doesn't want to. No. The crown pushes. He resists. He can't. He destroyed Lakefort. It was his vision. His will. He started the war. Not Dacia. But if he destroyed Lakefort just by envisioning its destruction, then that means... Answer its call. I won't. He can feel his brother's sword at his side. He can't forget who he is. He won't forget. I'm sorry. What did you say? I won't answer its call. What? You refuse? Ha! <laughs> Foolish boy! Don't you realize you are a weapon? Weapons can't choose who dies and who lives. No, that is the responsibility of the wielder. The prince turns fully to face the Inquisitor. I wield my own power. And he closes his eyes, and he wishes. He wishes for the Inquisitor to not be here. He wishes to send him away, far away. He tries to visualize the giant man somewhere else. With all his heart, he wishes. And something shines upon his eyelids, a brilliant light. And it fades. And slowly, he opens his eyes. The prince stands on the hill, alone. He tries to remove the crown, but for some reason he cannot bring himself to touch it. And then, all at once, in the safety of isolation, he realizes everything that has happened, everything he has done, and he drops to his knees. It was me. I destroyed Lake Fort. I opened the earth, my vision. And that means the storm that killed my father was... He looks up. A figure stands nearby. A man in black armor, the visor lowered on his dented helmet. A Dacian soldier. The two stare at one another. Silent. Wordless. Others come up the hill. More Dacian soldiers pointing spears and swords at the prince. One with a crest steps forth. You there, boy. Identify yourself and explain the light. The prince looks to the helmet of Dacian who arrived first and then back to their leader. This is his chance. This is how he can fix everything. Slowly, he stands and he pulls aside his cloak, revealing his brother's regal blade. I am the Prince of Lazarus. My friends, please follow me. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Dude. <laughs> Did I scare you guys? Dude. Like, everyone was like so a scared. Bit. That was you so spooked funny. me. No. Maybe, just a bit. A little bit, just a smidgen. <laughs>
I was like, we all have the urge to destroy, but I choose to You made a fight. <laughs> you made a whole speech of it. Continue. <gasps> the general stops just outside the door to a man in the building. Meditation right behind him. Object meet. I want the forest patrolled all night, the general says to one of his men. Bring me the accounts of the scouts who went west. Ready the siege engineers. Send word to the commanders to march at dawn and summon find those cursed zealots. They're gone. The general stops. The soldiers stop with him. He glances back at the prince over his shoulder. What did you say? The zealots are gone. I was with them beneath Felden. The Inquisitor burned them all, and then I made him disappear with that light you saw. The soldiers look on one another, muttering and mumbling. The general glances at his subordinates. I can show you where it happened. Go in, the prince thinks to himself. You aren't your brother. No people will listen to you. And these sedations, they've been invading a Lazarus for years. But another voice inside him speaks up. No. They didn't start the war. And neither did a Lazarus. I started the war. And I can end it. Let me go back to Moravos. I'll speak with my mother. Without the Inquisitor there, we're safe. We don't have to fight. I'll explain what happened, and she'll make you a peace offer. I know she will. He can feel tension all through his body, but the fear does not possess him. I know I'm young. I know I don't look like much, but I can end this war. I can. The general approaches the prince. What do you know that I don't? I... I... The zealots. The zealots started the war. It was a trick. What happened at Lathfort is their fault. My mother never wanted the war. My father never wanted war. We don't have to fight anymore. Because the zealots are gone. Please. Show me where the zealots were. My friends... Please, come with me this way. Oh. 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 You're welcome. I'm still awake and not tired. Dude, I am ready to throw hands. <laughs> I'm glad we're still, uh... <laughs> not not, not still more ready than I am. to the boss fight. I wasn't sure. <laughs> so late, Percy. This isn't where everyone was scorched. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> huh. mm -hmm. I wonder <laughs> where this <laughs> other bad ending happened. I'm guessing the rest of the minions have no idea. Like the very end. Like the other bad endings? Wait, this is one of them? Stands tall oh, no. and majestic. Unscarred despite the years of war. The garrison had allowed them into Moravos. Upon hearing Dacia was here to sue for peace. Despite this, the prince is uncomfortable. At the entrance stands a small host of knights. And in their middle is the silver... Aegis, armed and armored. The general approaches with the prince, and the Aegis moves to meet them in the middle. A silence hangs.
Your mother will be glad to have you by her side again, sire, she says to the prince, and I am glad to see you alive and well. She turns her attention to the Dacian general. I'm told you are here to talk peace with the queen. As it stands, myself and my aegises are all that remains between you and her majesty, the queen. Tell me, Dacian, why should I let you go any further? The general pulls off his helmet and holds it under one arm. I have seen the zealots myself, dead and burned. I am told they were responsible for Lake Fort, acting against your queen's will, taking advantage of the absence of your king. He pauses and nods. Dacia is willing to move past this conflict, and as a token of trust we return to you, your prince. What of the eldest, the heir? The Aegis scans the host of Dacians, her helmet still on. All our efforts to find him were in vain. He has eluded us completely. The Aegis looks back and forth across the Dacians twice more. She looks like a steel fortress, foreboding and immovable, shining both silver from the moon and orange from the fire. That is regrettable. Well, Her Majesty remains skeptical. You will understand that she is requested to see her son return to her before any further talks. The general nods again. I do understand, and you will understand that I request to send at least one of my own men in with the prince, to at least confirm the circumstances firsthand. The Aegis gives a shrug. Fine, you come with us. She points at one of them. The silver Aegis, the prince, and the helmeted Dacian enter the palace together. My friends, please follow me. Let's go, y'all. Okay, just stretching my back. The fucking designs and stuff that stuff. Opening up the menu by twenty. There's 20 doors. Kidding. Boss fight time. Who says yes, it's a boss you, fight? Dougie. There is a boss so fight. So I'm saying spoilers? And I am the boss fight. <laughs> Question is, <laughs> can we get the good ending? Okay. Just the random minion we that don't know. The we'll find out. Maybe. We might find bad ending A. to the mermaid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It seems we to be a trend. We, we never got a bad ending in ending A or C. It's always B. So. What? No, we got C. We got C, C, C the other week. That was when both the prince and the brother died. Please mm. gather around and lend me you can see your ears. The, <laughs> the story continues. The throne room is tall empty and cold any comfort offered by the gentle moon withheld by stained glass upon the throne sits the queen she makes no movement upon seeing her own son the silver aegis approaches the queen and takes a knee your majesty the aegis gestures behind herself the dacians have proven useful the royal family is reunited the prince blinks. Reunited? Why his brother? The queen says nothing. The prince looks at her from across the room, at her empty eyes, at her regal crown, and a uh, sudden pressure builds in his mind. He feels his crown response. Gah, it's too much. He drops to all fours with a cry. Steel sings as the helmeted Dacian draws his sword. 
the Aegis stands slowly, calmly, still facing the throne, and draws her own sword very intentionally. The blade and hilt glimmering. But that is not her sword. She pulls off her own gauntlet and draws the blade across her exposed palm, unflinching. The crimson trail begins to glow and it catches fire. The flames erupt with a roar and the Aegis is engulfed. And when the inferno dies, the Inquisitor stands in her place. He turns to the prince, his robes whirling, his eyes gleaming, the moonlight blood red. Without warning, the helmeted Dacian runs at the Inquisitor, leaping at him for a strike. With barely any effort and a flash of flame, the Inquisitor knocks him aside. Metal clangs as the Dacian's dented helmet bounces away. And the prince's heart drops as he realizes who this Dacian actually is. I owe you my utmost gratitude, young sire, the Inquisitor sends to the Prince. You brought the Dacian general directly to me, and I suppose I must also thank your brother for, for providing me with such a convenient opportunity. Why, nobody but he and I knew the Silver Aegis's true fate. Ah, she made the perfect disguise. The prince, still unable to stand, still feeling a weight in his mind, stares in disbelief. My own brother killed the Aegis. No. No, he wouldn't. He told me he didn't. He swore. It's a lie. Oh, I'm afraid it's no lie. Although, to be fair, I don't think he did it intentionally. One might quote a rather unfortunate sequence of events that he violently initiated. Fairness aside, there is work to be done. My young prince, I have no qualm with you. We have spoken already. Come to see eye to eye, if you will. No, you are not the problem here. He points the glimmering sword at the prince's brother, just now recovering from the blow. The heir will not become king. He has joined the ranks of our enemy, murdered his own mentor and guardian, betrayed his own kingdom, and turned his back to God. And so he must perish in divine flames! The sword ignites, casting brilliance throughout the dim chamber, and the Inquisitor's eye sockets are empty, burning with embers. Yeah. I don't care about being king, the brother says, grabbing his own Dacian weapon and struggling to his feet. I don't even care about Dacia anymore. They didn't start the war. It was... It was my brother's own gift. I don't know exactly how his gift works, but I do know he didn't mean it. He didn't want there to be war. He didn't want to cause the storm. He needs help. He needs someone to look up to, someone who won't leave him. And I'm his brother, and it's my duty to look after him. He means the world to me. I would die for him. Do you hear me, Inquisitor? I would die for him! Really? How convenient. Time to pay the price. I can't. 
They need to uh, request an invite to us. The Inquisitor plants both feet firmly on the ground and thrusts his offhand forth. A lick of fire erupts from his fingertips, blazing toward the brother. The prince is paralyzed by the crown. What does the brother do? You have one minute to decide. So, uh, options here. Right. Draws shield. shield. He blocks the it. As we found last week, shield. 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 With the shield. Defend with the shield. We block with the shield. Last time we got really far. It could be that I think the time before that we didn't see this. We didn't get so. Yeah, we didn't get this. Last time we almost won. I think it's just. I mean, we've not gotten to the start. We are super smart. I gotta fix this. You know, that is a thing. We have uh, tried oh, dodging in the first round before. Funny enough, uh, it's pretty much definitely confirmed that you cannot yeah, confirm it. Yeah, we've tried yeah. literally the only yeah. way to get uh, past this part which without is, which has not happened hindering yet. ourselves is to literally block with the shield. We already know most of this, but still died near the end. potentially about ending it. The only thing that we don't know is like I think it was the last one we needed to do that we died on. Yes. Yeah. And I I think we know what the but Don't we're not entirely sure. Discussion ends now. Shield, guys, shield. I am Defend going to you. ask. Lost Traveler. What is the best idea the you have heard, fellow traveler? Shield, you say? Yes. An interesting tactic. Mm. Lost Traveler thinks the brother should use the sea shield. But is this traveler so lost after all? The brother realizes he does not have time to move. Barely managing to get up on one knee, he brings the Dacian shield up and uses both hands to ready it. The fire slams into it and it roars, scorching the shield, burning the brother's arms. After a moment, the fire subsides and the brother drops the burnt shield. Its fragments scatter as it hits the stone floor. The Inquisitor readies the glimmering sword and leaps forth, swinging the mighty blade down toward the brother. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? You have one minute to decide. Deflect, deflect with the sword. <laughs> oh, I, it looks like Spike, the hair. First case scenario, Dierman knows <laughs> what we need to do, but I've been using his notes, so. No, it doesn't. I don't know who this is. I am going to ask. <laughs> the L Man 1000. Yes! People die when they are killed, though. Oh, Alright, let's go. All do work together Here's the sword. Is Use the sword. Use the sword. Wait, it's from, a sword Evangelion? against sword parry <laughs> attempt. Oh, the brother stays on one knee and watches oh. carefully. For oh. a moment, he's back in time, training okay, with the silver so aegis. He waits for the right moment, and when it comes, he brings the Dacian sword up. It collides with the great blade of his enemy, and fiery sparks fly. With all his might, he pushes and rotates, and his parry is successful. But the Dacian sword has been bent uselessly by the force of the blow. The Inquisitor lands on his feet, he and his sword both unharmed. The Inquisitor steps back, glaring down at the brother who is still struggling to stand. The Inquisitor raises one arm heavenward, and fire begins to gather inside his palm. The Prince remains paralyzed. What 
does the brother do? So what's the third option? Yeah, yeah. 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 You're going to use the brother's yeah. 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 miracle. Yeah. Okay. This is miracle so shadow. Yeah. Miracle of shadow. Okay. Yep. Miracle of The brother uses his own gifts. Specifically, we eat the sword. He, 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 he was dead. The shadow thing. Fight me. He's, he's always had it. That, he's yeah. been the shadow in the vision. The shadowy figure in the vision. The shadow is the brother. We were desperate and terrified. Oh, no, that's bad. You know how you have the christening for your headset? So you use the miracle. To figure it out. That's we yes. Did. Like like we did. Wait, uh, we melted the, the uh, well brawl tournament. We need to use the metaverse to use the <laughs> miracle the, the of actual shadow. Of... God damn, I'm I'm well aware. Midnight, no longer OP. Well well. Thank you. Brawl. <laughs> the time is a true champion has ended. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Such unity mm. to behold among these friends. I am going to ask. Split soul. Oh, wow. The gift. The gift. Uh, <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a body in my mouth. Fuck. Uh, uh, the uh, gift of shadow. The brother uses the gift of shadow. The gift of shadow. I wonder. Gift of shadow? Has anyone counted the, gift of the number of times the brother is a shadow in the I tour? I'm thinking of food right now. Ooh, how many? Uh, yeah, is it called, uh, uh, was it called like the maybe it's called the Gift of Shadow? Was it like he's been like three or four? He means Miracle of Shadow. He means Miracle of Shadow. He means Miracle of Shadow. My friends, the choice has been made. The brother is going to use his own divine divine gift. The brother is reluctant, but he swallows it. This is not the time for secrets. He closes his eyes and lets the familiar feeling float up from his feet. Darkness consumes him. He is a shadow, swift and silent, and he has a few moments to reposition himself with minimal chance of the Inquisitor spotting his movements. The Inquisitor raises a brow as the Shadowborn uses his miracle of darkness. He heaves his hefty fireball up and sends it into a corner of the throne room, missing the brother but illuminating most of the chamber. The brother has only moments to make use of what little darkness remains. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? You have one minute to decide. He goes to the prince and go cast shadows everywhere. Then everyone is going to the sword. That's the option. Recover the sword. What you do is we recover the sword. Can we get the sword? Or is that too big? That's too big. I used to just got back from a crash. It's just like a crash. So the prince, 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 prince has his sword. sword. He's going to go to the prince to get his own sword. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So go for the sword. Prince is going to get his sword. He's, he's too paralyzed. Oh, no. I am terminating your discussion. I'm forth. I am going to call upon. Who did that? Kirby. Hmm? Uh, they're behind you. Hello. There you are. He wants the sword. Hey, Kirby. Brother. Nine, nine, nine. All right. Yes. So we recover the sword from the brother. I think that that's the correct one, right? Prince. We recover the, the sword. Yeah. Yeah. From the prince. Yeah. We recover the sword. Mm -hmm. From the prince. Yes. The brother's brother is the brother. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, my head hurts now. <laughs> the brother's shadow rushes toward the prince as fire and light spread. As the light reaches the prince, the Inquisitor sees the brother reappear there, wielding a small but regal sword. The brother staggers away from the prince, momentarily dizzied by being forced out of his shadow. The Inquisitor lets out a short burst of laughter and leaps toward the brothers landing beside the prince. He sheathes the glimmering sword, reaches down, and with no effort lifts the incapacitated prince by his neck. Surrender, he commands. What does the brother do? You have but one minute to decide. The queen is a lie, guys. The queen is a lie. The queen is a lie. The queen is a lie. Why are you so dark? The queen is indeed sus. Among us. Among us. Among us. Wait, what? See, I am, I am Shadowborn. I, I am in the shadows. By the way, the reason I'm giving you more than a minute is because I just like listening to the music. I am going to call upon... <laughs> Okay, so sort of the queen. Oh, sword at the queen. Mm. What a bizarre choice. I wonder if yeah, anyone has counted is. the number of times the queen is referenced as a porcelain oh, doll. Thanks. Well, um, this is what happens. But when he's trying to get him to destroy the city is the only time Everything I remember. Everything slows down. The brother looks at the prince, dangling there, alive yet consumed by the glowing crown. He looks at the Inquisitor, grinning, domineering, truly a warrior sent by God, or by a demon from the abyss. The brother looks over his shoulder, and as he turns, he pivots on one foot, and he throws his own sword. He throws it at his own mother. It soars across the throne room, blade first, spiraling, and it plunges into porcelain. Clay shards go flying as a shrill, shattering sound fills the tall chamber. The prince opens his eyes. The pressure eases. The queen's crown falls. She was a porcelain doll. The Inquisitor is unperturbed. He keeps a firm hold on the prince, and in his other palm a divine fire grows, ready okay, to this end is where the prince's we died life. Last time. The prince and brother can both act. You must all decide what both brothers will do together. You oh have two God. minutes to decide. Okay. Okay. So the prince uses the miracle of water, he can use his brother, rushes for the glimmering sword on the Inquisitor's head. Okay, yeah, so I think he sword. Where's your friend, Tech Nerd? Did they leave? Yeah, they left. Uh, they had to go do something. Yeah. They, had go do, they had to go do something, yeah. Yeah, so... 
Positions. I have even heard the answer. Oh. I am oh. going to call yeah. upon. The slow, dramatic turn, building tension. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh boy, that trash is killing me. Cylindra. Oh boy. Oh, whatever your gut what is. Oh, yeah. is your idea. Your gut. Well, I agree with everybody. The brother should go and rush for the glimmering sword, while the prince should use the miracle of water in an attempt to counteract okay. the Inquisitor. Okay. okay. Had us going there for a minute. Oh, Jeez. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, that's that's the final that battle. Because the glimmering sword says to Vana. One job. Line. From me. You said mm -hmm. the miracle of water. Is that correct? As Oceanborn, yes. Hmm. But imagine um, mm. counteracting. The Inquisitor's fire. Smiles, you fucking Debbie. <laughs> Come on, I have never done this before. Oh, Cillin. Mm -hmm. Miracle of water is not a valid answer. <gasps> oh? oh? What? What is what? What? your theory? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> All right. Well, in that case, oh, no. the prince. In that case, the. In that case, the prince will imagine the glimmering sword in his brother's hand, and the brother will use the sword to strike the inquisitor. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, oh. That was oh. obvious. Oh. That was obvious. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes. No, that was the oh, prince. This was also another one we discussed. Oh God. The glimmering sword a... into the brother's hands while the brother attacks the inquisitor. Is this correct? That is correct. Wow. Wow. I see. Takis. Oh wow. my God. I gave you one hint and one hint only. So this is now locked in as your answer. I must now begin the long journey back to my place. Oh, God. I like that. 100% certified Q moment. I want to have an idea for next year. That was, in fact, my idea, but, you know, I like consensus. Yeah, did you have a nice trip? I like it. We don't have to talk about that. can't use the water. Why can't you use the water? Is it it? Because he's got the crown. The Travers, crown. Oh, I beg exactly. for your full That's attention in, in this pivotal is moment. Is this something new, or is this further doom? Probably not. We shall find out. Yeah, I want to find out. The brothers <laughs> don't understand what's happening. Their mother is not here. Then where? Where is she? They look at one another, and they make eye contact for a heartbeat. The prince's gaze shifts down and to the side, and the brother understands. 
The brother begins to run at the Inquisitor empty-handed. The Inquisitor laughs at him. His divine fire grows. The brother leaps at their great foe, and the Inquisitor turns his attention away, confident, bringing his other hand in, and he begins to swing for the prince's head with a crackling ball of fire. Hmm? Come on. Attention. Oh, <gasps> is that it? Is that it? What? The fireborn do it? stops. The fireborn looks down. <gasps> the brother <gasps> has his feet planted on the Inquisitor's chest, and the young heir is holding the shimmering blade, the end of which protrudes from the Inquisitor's back. Oh, the Inquisitor yes! lets go of the prince. Yes, and looks baby! Inquisitor cannot finish his words, for he slowly crumbles to ash, his mouth agape in a silent eternal scream, before that too decays. Thank God! Did you win? Wait! Wait! Wait. Alright, it's not over yet. Let's go! Wait, we don't know. Wait, we're just yet. Oh, tension. Okay, yep. Tyler and I could hug you. The prince embraces <laughs> his brother, sobbing. I'm sorry, the brother said. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. With the help of the Dacian general and his men, they find the queen. Sorry. She indeed bore her own ornate crown, much like the princess, a master crown. Without the Inquisitor, she Kirby. had no choice but to reveal that she was speaking inside the prince's mind, influencing his decisions. And she is duly locked away in the tower of the palace. And the master crown is shattered, its pieces buried in a memorial under the town of Felden, in an ancient hidden temple. Ooh. The brother's coronation is held shortly thereafter, okay. and he, the new king of the Lazarus, finally makes peace with the Dacians. But my friends, this story is not quite over yet. Hmm? Oh. Do you oh. So what? kindly oh. follow me. Hmm? Oh, oh my god. What's oh my my god. Oh my god. We did it, Dyke. Where are we going? Plot twist. <laughs> I kind of figured it wasn't over yet. Y'all actually did it. I don't believe it. Well done. Where is he? Where, where's where's Trajan? Did we go the wrong way? There. Yep, there we go. No? <laughs> and. <gasps> that was amazing. Oh. 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 It might be a good oh. It might be a good ending. It might be a good It might not be the best ending. Is this the first time we've actually been in this spot? Yeah. Let's go. 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 Oh, you don't have an answer. Sometimes I forget you don't. <laughs> shit. <laughs> we, we gotta get you a quest or some shit. Oh, my face is so sticky right now. Please gather around. TMI. And lend me your continued attention for this story's conclusion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My friend? We'll see. Prince finds his brother, the king, looking out across the kingdom. The brother turns and smiles. There you are, he says. He got my message then. Ah, oh, how are your wounds? He leans in to inspect his younger brother. I'm fine, the prince says. My neck is a bit sore, but I'm fine. What did you want to talk about? The brother turns back. To the balcony view. His expression tightens. 
and then softens. Good. Good. I'm glad you're all right. That man has left scars across our kingdom that need attention. Our kingdom? The brother continues to look out across Moroos. I know you're still young, but, well, we've been through a lot, haven't we? And I saw how you were out there. You've been gifted a, a great miracle by Varna. We've all seen it. We've all felt it. He turns back. And that crown. The prince reaches up and touches it. Something he has been able to do only recently. It makes it a lot stronger, but I'm more aware of it. I think I'm starting to get used to it. The brother smiles. That's a relief. The Oracle of Lazarus has a lot of work to do. The church is in pieces. There are rumors of zealots still hiding in the underworks. The Aegises need a new leader. We have a journey to Laodicea to make together, and the people are looking up for answers. He places a hand upon his younger brother's shoulder. Then the prince looks around. We need to find a new oracle, don't we? Yes, we do. Who do you have in mind? The Oceanborn. <laughs> the prince's stomach begins to churn. No. No, that's too much. It's too scary. He's going to make mistakes. More people will die. He'll get blamed. Another war will start. Another... Listen. His brother's voice pulls him back, as always. Don't go in the woods, Patrick. You just hang on to it for a minute. I know how frightening this is. When we first ran away, part of me was glad. Good, I thought. Now I don't have to worry about becoming king. I was so scared. I still am. Every day when I wake up, and every night when I close my eyes, it doesn't end. But you know what? Whenever I feel that fear creeping up, I think about all the things I have. People will look up to me. A brother that needs me, and a mother who one day we will cure. And when I think about these things, it's like the clouds part a little and the sun comes out. I promise you this. If you want to become the next oracle, then I will look out for you. Just like I know you will look out for me. Just imagine what you and I could do for a Lazarus. Shadowborn and Oceanborn. King and oracle. Miracle-wielding brothers. And... Knowing that... Doesn't that just make everything... Just a little bit less... Terrifying? brother watches as the prince thinks long and hard about the offer. He wants to. He really, truly wants to. He loves his brother dearly, but the fear is profound. What if he isn't good enough? What if he does something wrong? brother steps away. 
approaches the balustrade and climbs on it, holding a pillar for support. He faces the sky with his eyes closed and... For a few moments, the prince is filled with peace. better days ahead. I promise. Ooh. The king Yee. looks back, haloed against a golden glow, oh, and offers his hand. Oh, trade you. And the prince oh. takes it. Welcome to the good ending of the prince. Oh, this is a great birthday present. My friends, my friends. For those Happy birthday, birthday, yes, birthday was. There will be some announcements in a couple of minutes by Sheen. So please, remain Mine's here in two while months. the tour guides realign our ether and wipe our tears. If you'd like to take a group photo, please do so here and now. We tour guides will stand in place. And after you take your photo, Sheen will deliver his announcements. I recently got yelled at by my mother just for, just for my excitement. Plenty of people ahead of But we did it! Oh, my fucking There you go. Well, still getting your hand. I'm setting up the angle here. I don't know where to stand. I don't know where to stand. Okay, there is a lot of people, and I'm trying to fit them all in there is. Yep, it's really hard. You know what? Perfect. Screw it. I'm technically a robot. Hey, so smiles to you. A little bit to the side. Oh, there you go. There you go. Get everyone in here. Hey. Alright, what should we say? Pune! <laughs> Oh, this is Perhaps ocean board. Uh, Finally. 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 Oh, thank you. It was rad. This was definitely worth it after like three weeks. Yes. yes Happy to yes, be included. Yes. I can't believe I got yelled at by my mother just for just for my excitement alone. I thought she was gonna disconnect the internet for a second. Just ruin this moment. All the pictures. Just so many pictures. Is picture is picturing done yet? I'm getting sore. We've we've taken a few, <laughs> so I think so. I, I think yeah, we're I'm good. Alrighty, so <laughs> let me okay. take some time to get this eyelash out of my eye. The it around, hurts. So, you know. <laughs> there we go. Well, we'll see. I tried to enable it's as many other phones as possible, though I am lagging. You know? yeah. yeah. I need to now read the photo. I thought we were gonna get another ether crystal. Yeah, so I remember it was we were doing the water one first, and then the bathroom where we were doing the one cylinder, and then there was the third one, which was the crown mist.
Please tell me you got this recorded.